Welcome back everyone. You may be having some issues with your iOS 15 battery life, specifically maybe there's some battery drain going on. Now typically this is exactly what I'm going to tell you. If you're on iOS 15.0 all the way up to maybe like iOS 15.1 or 2, there's going to be some battery drain happening on any version of iOS that you have, especially on the beginning versions. So iOS 14 is probably going to be more stable than iOS 15. So keep that in mind, but as of right now, there are still some things you can do to kind of mitigate those specific battery drain issues. The very first thing I'd always recommend doing though is hopping into your settings application. You wanna go down into battery right here. You wanna go click battery health and you wanna make sure that number is high. If that number is very low, this 100% that I have, if yours is like 80% or 70%, your battery life is pretty much going to be bad. You're probably going to have to get your battery replaced no matter what. Now the next thing you can do is first of all make sure that your brightness settings aren't super high, that you don't have a crazy amount of widgets either. That's another thing that drains up a lot of battery. If you have one or two widgets or five widgets, it's not a big deal. But if you're having a ton of widgets and depending on those widgets too, if they're like super powerful and they need to be refreshed all the time, that can cause a lot of battery drain. So that's another huge thing you may wanna look out for is making sure you don't have a crazy amount of widgets all over your pages. Now, if you have an iPhone that has an OLED display, you can also enable dark mode and that that will actually help save a little bit of battery as well. So you can go into your settings, you can click display and brightness, and you can toggle on this dark mode, and that'll actually save a little bit of battery. Nothing super crazy, but it is actually you know worthwhile to actually enable it. Now, another thing you can do that's actually new and specific for iOS 15 is Safari extensions. So and if you have a lot of Safari extensions enabled, this can also bog down a little bit of your specific you know, battery, you know, believe it or not. So what you want to do is you want to click on Safari, you want to click on extensions, and if you use these extensions all the time, then obviously keep them enabled and everything. But if you hop into your Safari like this and you click over here and you click on manage extensions, so you click right here, you click on manage extensions, you can delete a lot of these extensions right here. And you know, if you don't use them, I would probably recommend deleting them just because it can save you a little bit of battery life. So that's another big thing to keep in mind as well. Now, another big battery drain for a lot of devices out there is FaceTime. So if you're always FaceTiming people and different things like that, this can also take a humongous toll on your battery life. I don't know why. I don't know why FaceTime is not you know, optimized at this point, but that's another big thing. If you're using FaceTime all the time, maybe switch to FaceTime audio, that's, but that's another heavy app that uses a lot of battery and the standard things like keeping your iPhone charged and making sure you're not, you know, and just making sure you're not using a bunch of heavy apps. That's another thing you can do, but that's just a given. If you see a noticeable change in terms of iOS 14 to iOS 15 battery life, the main reason for this is typically because it is that latest version of software. And the main thing you can do is just keep your phone up to date at this point. You know, if you already installed iOS 15, keep your phone up to date. If there's a new version of software, install it. There's going to be lots of bugs. There's going to be lots of issues, but you know, by 15.1 or 15.2, I'm sure the battery life will get better. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.